Well, I'm at a meeting of the RSA Social Entrepreneur ne Network. End of the evening, fantastic presentations earlier. Network time, lots of people to talk to. And I've got both a microphone and a camera to hold. So I'm going to see if Claire Riley, who's uh, one of the RSA staff, is going to do some interviews for me. Here you go, Claire. Have the microphone. Well, for a start, you've got a bunch of great people. And the next lot are going to benefit from all the stuff we've learned in the last year. It's just how to do things, what works. I never made it to any of the breakfast meetings at the RSA, but the quarterly meetings were fantastic. And in terms of social enterprise, it's really growing. Yeah. And do you feel that your own social enterprise has benefited from the last year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Is that through connections or through kind of like learning? Kind of it's, it's both parts of it. It's the fact that I knew I had a group of people who were going through the same as me, but also there's some kudos to the fact of being involved with the RSA anyway. And um, even if people didn't know what we were up to, they still thought it was quite important that we were being case studied. Great, who else have we got here? Okay, yeah, keep, them, keep the microphone right up because it's really okay. noisy. Oh, we're really sorry. Um, so, Dan, this is David. I know David very well. I do. Hello, David. We're just trying to get sound bites from people about the network, how mm. they've all learned it for last year, what your vision is for the future of this network, and how it's going to change. Well, I just think it's been amazing. So, I, along with a bunch of people that you've spoken to, um, we were the um, founding fathers, I suppose. We saw a vision, we created a format. It's really taken off. It's super exciting. As you know, social enterprise is a white hot space at the moment. It's really electric. There are, even tonight, there's, I guess, 150 people have turned up and given their time to find out a little bit about it. It's such an exciting space. Uh, the RSA is becoming a very exciting, real environment where people can meet and connect and share ideas. There's an, an energy and force in this community. It's really... Um, um, mirroring and, and marrying up to Matthew's vision about bringing uh, the RSA uh, alive as a, a, an institution of through the fellowship rather than just a fuddy-duddy, dead, old, historic organization. And, and Matthew and this, this group, this uh, Spotlight group, have really sort of come alive uh, with that process. Back to our historic roots as an independent Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah, and there's a real uh, openness about sharing. It's very um, generous with its help and support of each other. Um, huh? Exactly. Oh, Sarah's just been amazing to help move that, and she's been a, a real driving force around that, and we really appreciate the work that Sarah's been doing, and also Matthew to get behind it as well. So, you know, it's... Um, you know, David and I spoke about this a year ago, and he did not believe that this would happen. So, um, uh, you know, it gives me great pleasure to prove him wrong. And that actually this network has really taken off, and the people that were around that have really driven it. And, uh, you know, bar sucks to David, because actually this is a very exciting community that's come out of this. And I think a lot of people, and not just David, would have felt that, that it wouldn't be possible. And, you know, this has actually become a model for how the RSA can relaunch a number of its um, different spotlight groups and communities and it's very exciting and it just it's mirrors and echoes back to what really originally created the RSA and isn't it wonderful that it actually has become a very vibrant and live space again and that's really happened um, over the last year or two and Matthew has been driving that so it's just been wonderful. Thanks Dan. Right, who else can, who else can we find? <laughs> Malcolm again. Sorry, Malcolm. Obviously, you know David. From, um, David's very keen to do a follow-up. Hi there. We, we, I did an interview about oh, almost two years ago. So I'm catching up now. Yeah, this is Malcolm Scoville, and uh, Claire is doing a little bit of the reporting for me. So you can ask the question. When the network started, you had some vision of what this network would become. How does that match up to CA's? I think it's um, 
it's the still a startup, but it's going well. I think the whole idea around this network that's different than all the other networks was it was supposed to be about real impact, not just people coming together to drink wine. So can we actually get a bunch of organizations together and see some real change in their organizations? They grow faster, they impact more youth, they, I don't know, come up with new ways to get advisory board members on, whatever it is. And I think tonight, the great thing was, was the real stories about how that stuff had happened over the last 15 months. So rock on, yes, impact has happened, and the RSA and this particular network is, is doing some good. Yeah. That. Yeah, I think one way, maybe, um, is actually going forward next time around, for this next 12 months, what we should do is every quarter and also every month when this group meets up, we should have a sheet that says, how did you benefit from this network? So we can actually put those stories online, not from tonight and from those, because it's like the little chats over a cup of coffee. And that's how the RSA started, you know, William Shipley back in, you know, 300 years ago. Uh, th is coming together to talk about how to change the world. So, and every time somebody does it, it doesn't create the RSA, but there's little things, and the ripple effect is very powerful. So I think some networking groups do that very well, and they actually, they have awards for how much impact has come out. So maybe we should implement that next year. Yeah, not just drink wine, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Yes. Thanks, Malcolm. One okay. other, one other person, do you want to do maybe. What, what, okay, what, what, Hi. Are you just are you just leaving, or can we just have a? Oh, you're networking. Hey, um, I'm David. This is Claire, and uh, we're doing a little bit of reporting on uh, who's here, what they found, how the network developed. But I'll hand over to Claire to ask the question. Okay. So yeah. So um, obviously, is this your first um, RSA event for the Social Entrepreneurs Network? Have you been before? This is my first time. Oh, brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And so, how did you find out about the network originally? Um, somebody mentioned it to me in passing, saying, you run a social enterprise, you should go along to the RSA. And I said, the RS what? And she said, the RSA. So I thought, okay, that's fantastic. I have to check it out, and I'm glad that I came. It's been a wonderful, enriching, inspirational, informative evening. And, and it, was there anything you're going to take away tonight that, that you didn't think that kind of you were expecting to originally? Well, I think it's all about adding to, because the life of a social entrepreneur, it's no different to any other business person or entrepreneur, in fact. But it's different in the sense that you want that impact to be social. And so a lot of people don't get the deal. So I have these fantastic conversations with lots of people. And at the end of it, they say, so what, do you have trees? Because I don't quite understand what it is that I do as a social entrepreneur. So I think the one thing I'll take away from this evening is how positive and buoyant uh, the audience has been and how understanding and receptive that they are to the whole notion of social enterprises. And, and to connect with people that are kind of in the same space as you and to understand it. Well, it, it almost feels like you're coming home. You know, let, let me be honest, because, you know, as I said, I do get, I don't know if you've ever seen tumbleweed in these um, westerns, when they say, and people come up to me and say, hello, and what's your name? And I say, oh, hi, I'm real. And I say, and what are you? And I say, social entrepreneur. Ooh, absolutely nothing. So it's great to be around, you know, fellow-minded people. Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, is that the wrap-up, David? I think that's the wrap-up, David. It's been a great night. There's so much energy and, um, you know, 15 months on, as Malcolm said, we're still here and we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs>